Good evening. I wanted to speak directly to our supporters to confirm the transfer of our captain, Jack Grealish, to Manchester City and to explain the background to this move. Last summer, following interest from a number of clubs, we offered Jack a new contract to stay at the club, which he accepted with one proviso. Jack wanted to be certain that if at any point a Champions League club came in for him and Aston Villa was not in that competition, that we would not stand in his way. For that reason, we agreed to incorporate a so-called release clause into his contract. Our board set this clause at a value of 100 million pounds, knowing that would be by some way, a record price for a British footballer and also a record fee for any player bought by a Premier League club. Put another way, we set the value at a level we hoped would not be met, but which would reflect his truly unique value to Aston Villa. After a brilliant season for Jack, culminating in his performances at the Euros, a number of clubs expressed interest in signing him, initially at figures below the release clause. We simply refused to entertain those approaches. Finally, Manchester City notified us that they would be willing to pay the 100 million pounds it would take to trigger this clause. After many hours of discussions involving Jack, his family and his agent, during which we made clear our strong desire for him to stay at Aston Villa, Jack finally decided that he would like to go to City and instructed us to exercise his release clause, as was his prerogative. It was a highly emotional moment when he finally told me his decision leaving me in no doubt how hard it had been for him to decide to leave our club, which he joined when he was six years old. Ultimately, he said it boiled down to wanting to play Champions League football now. Most importantly for our supporters tonight, I want you all to be reassured that the board, Dean Smith, Johan Langer and I obviously knew this day might come and we have planned accordingly. It was never our intention to replace Jack with one footballer. Our strategy was to analyse and break down Jack's key attributes, his creativity, his assists, his goals, and to find these qualities and others in three forward players. In signing Emiliano Buendia, Leon Bailey and Danny Ings, we believe we have achieved this key objective and in doing so have also reduced an over-dependency on one brilliant footballer. As we now near the start of the season, Dean and his coaching staff our players and the board are all looking forward to seeing our new team with enthusiasm, with excitement and with confidence. There is real depth and breadth to our squad with these new players and the returning Ashley Young, joining last year's outstanding signings, all of whom have settled brilliantly, as well as some more very high potential academy graduates who are now in and around the first team squad. They truly are the future. On behalf of Nasef, Wes and myself, we really look forward to seeing you all back at Villa Park on August the 21st. And thank you for your fantastic support.